Hello Philippines and hello world. This is Roman Castro from the SN2C. And I am Alia May de La Paz. We, We are, are here again and you are watching and I Talks. We're going to talk about how to create charts in Excel fresh from the pot that we'll be discussing on the spot. Is everyone doing great today? Thank you for joining us to meet us and learn and the opportunity to solve some concerns. With the help of some personalities, we will be able to open door of discovery about different types of charts in Excel. Some of you might already know of it, but for the benefit of the doubt, let's take a look at this clip. Roll DTR. It is a tool you can use in Excel to communicate data graphically. Charts allow your audience to see the meaning behind the numbers, and they make showing comparison and trends much easier. In this tutorial, you will learn how to insert charts and modify them so they communicate information effectively. Different scenarios require different types of chart. Towards this end, Excel provides a number of chart types that you can work with. The type of chart that you choose depends on the type of data that you want to visualize. To help simplify things for the users, Excel 2013 and above has an option that analyzes your data and makes a recommendations of the chart type that you should use. And those are pie chart, bar, column, line, and combo chart. Pie chart is a sometimes called a circle chart. It's a way of summarizing a set of nominal data or displaying the different values of a given variable. For example, percentage distribution. This type of chart is a circle divided into a series of segments. Each segment represents a particular category. And Mr. Eric is the one who will be discussing a step-by-step -step on how to make a different types of chart. That was an informative one, right? I hope that they gained some knowledge with that clip. Yes, Aliyah. I am sure that everyone who is watching right now will be gaining knowledge, right? I have no doubt if they get some paper and pen and take some notes in the following discussion. For the next week, Aliyah will be discussing the bar chart. So what is the definition of bar chart? A bar graph or bar chart is a graph that displays different categories of data with rectangular bars where the lengths of the bars are proportional to the size of the data category they represent. Bar graphs can be plotted vertically or horizontally. Bar chart in Excel is used to display the values in bar chart format. A bar chart is only useful for small sets of data. The bar chart ignores the data if it contains non-numerical values. It is hard to use the bar charts if data is not arranged properly in the Excel sheets. And that's all for the definition of bar chart. We also invite Ms. Angela and Mr. Eric to tackle the column, line, combo charts, and the importance of it. Good day, I'm Angela, and I will be discussing the combo chart and the importance of it. The combination of two column charts, two line graphs, or a column chart and a line graph. You can make a combo chart with a single data set or with the two data sets that share a common string field. Combo charts can answer the questions about your data such as, what are the trends for the same categories? And for the Excel, a combination chart in Excel is a single chart that has two y-axis that enables the viewers to compare the data. Both charts use the same scale which can help the professional understand the relationship between the different datas. The importance of it is the combination charts are designed to visually highlight the difference between sets of the data and to make it easy to see one set of the information below. The combination chart uses a bar chart and a line graph together. And that's all. Thank you. Step-by-step -step example of creating chart in Excel. In this tutorial, we are going to plot a simple column chart in Excel that will display the sold quantities against the sale year. So, open 